Okay, so let's um, start with some matrices now. Um, I don't know what's a good matrix to start with. Um, let's see. Uh, let's start with a matrix named A. Uh, let's have its entries be 2, minus 1, 1, 1, 2, minus 3, 4, 1, 2. Okay. I like that matrix. That's the kind of matrix that, um, you know, really makes life interesting and fun, right? And what we want to do is find its inverse. Okay. And its inverse is equal to um, the, co the transpose of the cofactor matrix over the determinant of, um, yeah, let's not call that determinant, let's, over the determinant of A. Okay? And what I mean by the transpose of the cofactor matrix is, is that the cofactor matrix is the cofactor associated with each one of these, um, each one of these squares, and, um, then what I mean by the transpose is I then flip it over um, diagonally like that. This one goes here, here, this one goes there, this one goes here, this one goes there, blah, 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 blah. Um, so we'd end up with, um, you know, a cofactor matrix so that C11 would be the cofactor from this thing, C... Um, Uh, 2, 1 would be the cofactor from uh, this guy and this guy, C, 3, 1 here, um, C, 1, 2 here, C, 2, 2 here, C, 3, 2 here, um, C, 1, 3, C, 2, 3, C, 3, 3, and then we take the transpose of that, right? And the transpose of that would be 1 over A, determinant of A. So now we just switch this guy here and that guy back there. All right. So that's C11, C12, C13. So this guy's here. Means this guy's going to be here and that guy's going to be there. So we've got C21, C31, C22, C33. C32, C23. So that's what we're going to try to construct. That's what we're going to construct um, to find this determinant, okay? Or to find this um, inverse. Um, first thing we have to do is find the determinant of A, right? Uh, we can do this, we can do this one or two ways. Um, you know, this guy's got a lot of different numbers running around here. So uh, we'd have, if we were to do this sort of traditionally, we'd go through this guy here, take uh, this cofactor, then multiply, blah, 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 multiply this one, this one, this one, that one, add, subtract, all sorts of things. Um, but we can make it a little bit easier, actually. All right, and we can make it a little bit easier by, um, by some tricks that we looked at previously. The determinant, for example, is not going to change if we start making, you know, cute little linear transformations inside of this matrix. So, probably the best idea, the most wonderful thing we could do, is find a way to um, take this thing and, get, and eliminate one row so that we just have um, two zeros uh, on it. And it could be a column. Actually, I think it will be a column. So I'm going to go up here and um, I'm just going to eliminate um, as much as possible. Uh, maybe I should go through this way, right? So I can have this one stay there, add, add this one to that one and subtract two times this column from that column or something like that. I think that'll work out pretty well. And I'll, and since I did it another way in my test run, I'll find out really quickly. Um, so, 
uh, let's see, so we multiply this by minus two and add it to that, um, so that this guy becomes zero, then we add six to whatever that is, so that's seven, and we add four to whatever that is, so that's eight. Then we just add these ones, so um, one plus minus one is zero, uh, minus three plus two is minus one, and two plus one is three, and then we have a one here, right? And um, then we have a zero here and a zero here, right? Um, so in that case, everything is looking uh, rather good at the moment, right? I, th I think that's right. So let's uh, take a real quick run through again. Uh, minus two, mi plus six, uh, minus four, okay. All right, that's better. That's even better. So now we go down this this row. We have zero times whatever's over here, zero times whatever's over there. We only have this one times what's ever in here, which is equal to um, you know this cofactor here, zero plus minus plus. Um, so we have seven three minus one zero. That's all we have. And if we actually carry that out, we have 21, which is the correct determinant. So we're okay with that right now. So the determinant is, is right. That's the same determinant that I got previously. So we're ready to go and um, find these cofactors, right? After we find these cofactors, we can put together the inverse. And after we find the inverse, we can check to make sure it's actually the inverse, uh, right? So, I mean, I can tell you're all, all really, really excited about that already, right? So let's move this up a little bit. I have no idea how much room I'm going to need for the cofactors. On my test run, it was a whole lot of room. Now that's... That's partially because I left a blank spot. It's partially because, you know, I'm showing a lot of work that I probably wouldn't do. So, for example, um, you know, I can just look at this thing and say, okay, this is positive, um, positive one on the um, cofactor side times uh, four plus three, right? But um, you might not be able to, so I just wanted to show you that. That's four plus minus minus three, or four minus minus three, which is seven. And then we go C21, right? Or C12, excuse me. Let's just do these in order along this way. Um, now that one has a minus one in front of it. And then we um, do minus three times four, which is, um, or let's see, we do one times two, which is two minus minus 12, which is 12, so that's 14, okay, um, times minus 1, so we have a minus 14, C1, 3, um, 3, that's a pl plus 1, uh, has that multiplicative factor, um, and since we have a plus 1 as a multiplicative factor, we just say 1 minus um, 2 times 4, which is 8, which means that the cofactor is minus 7. So 1 minus 8, which equals minus 7. Then we have C21. Um, so this guy here, now we've moved 1 down, so that's a minus 1 again, times whatever we have left over. So this is minus 2 minus 1. So minus 2 minus 1, which is equal to 3. Okay? C22. C22 two two is, we start with this guy, 2 times 2 is 4, 1 times 4 is 4, so 4 plus 4 is 2 times 4, which is 8. Oh, actually it's minus 2, and this is minus this thing, so, e -d -d -d, so that's even better, it's 0. We like zeros. Zeros are good, they're useful. They might make life easy. Okay, 2, 3, C2, 3. We're in minus 1 territory again. 1, 2, 3. Um, then we have 2 minus minus 4 this time. 
So that's 2 minus minus 4, which is 6, times minus 1 is minus 6. Okay? More cofactors! I know you like the cofactors already. Um, I think you're probably going to love them as much as I do by the time you're done with this. Okay, so it's 1, 2, which multiplied by positive 1, minus 1 times minus 3, that's 3, 1 times 2, that's uh, minus 2, 3 minus 2 is 1. Okay, and then we have C3, 2. And C32 is in the minus 1 territory, right? And um, 1, 2, 3. So we have 2 times minus 3, which is um, minus 6. And we have um, 1 times 1, and we subtract 1 from that, which is equal to minus 7 times minus 1, which is 7. We cruise, we cruise. Don't you enjoy cruising? So now we have 2 times 2 minus minus 1. So that's 4 plus 1, which is equal to 5. And look at that. We have all the cofactors that we're going to need to find our um, inverse. So now we've got a, our inverse a to the minus 1 is equal to 1 over 21 times... Um, uh, this matrix 7 down here is minus 14 minus 7 3 0 minus 6 3 0 minus 6 1 7 5 1 7 5 so that's it um, you could go through and um, you could go through and get some uh, more precise values in here and get rid of that um, factor here. Uh, the only problem with that I'd, I'd have is that it basically makes life annoying. So it's better just to leave it there, I think, especially because we're about to check. Right? And inverses are really easy to check because um, a to the minus 1 times a has to equal the identi identity matrix. If it does not equal the identity matrix, we're in trouble. So we have 1 over 21, um, 7 minus 14, 7, 3, 0 minus 6, 1, 7, 5. Multiply that by 2, 1, 4, minus 1, 2, 1, 1 minus 3, 2. And we get um, whatever it is we want to get, right? We want to get um, 1 over 21 times um, 14 here, plus 3, 1 times 4 is 4, okay, so that's equal to 1 over 21, oops, let's move that up, times 21, um, then let's go, just keep on going, we have 7 times minus 1, which is minus 7, 3 times 2, which is 6, and 1 times 1, which is 1. So that means this guy is 0. Then we have 7 times 1, which is 7, um, minus 9, plus 2. That ends up being 0 again. All right? Um, now we have minus 14 times um, 2, which is 28, times 0 times, or 7 times 4, which is 28, plus 0, plus 28. So we have a 0 here. Then we have minus 14 times uh, minus 1, which is 14. Uh, then we have um, 2 times 0, which is 0, and 7 times 1, which is 7. So that's 21. Uh, then we have minus 14, or, yeah, minus 14 times 1, 0 times minus 3, and 7 times 2, um, which is plus 0 plus 14, so we end up with a 0. 
All right, so we're at the end. 7 minus 6, 5. 7 times 2 is 14. Uh, minus... Um, minus 6. Or minus 14, excuse me. Um, ah, this is minus 7, that's it. Okay, minus 14. Minus... Um, Six and five times um, four is twenty, so that's zero. Um, minus seven times minus one is seven. Um, minus six times two is minus twelve, and five times plus times one is five. So add them all up, you get zero. And then here we are finally with um, minus 7 times 1, which is minus 7, minus 6 times minus 3, which is plus 18, and then 5 times 2, which is plus 10, which is 28, minus 7, which is 21. And you can see what happens here. I divide everything by 21. I get 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, which is the identity matrix, which is what we were looking for. So we did it right the first time, all right? I'll see you soon.